All right, David Harry here. And as I go for a little ramble through the park, I'm just going to ramble on about um, what I'm now going to call my final GoPro Hero 8 Black setup for vlogging. And this video is in no small part due to a conversation I've recently been having, or basically a number of them, with John, who is Lensman2 online. There should be a link here to John's channel and one in the descriptions below. But basically, myself and John have been kind of having certain ongoing conversations in um, the comments section to a couple of my videos. And I mentioned to John uh, what I'd settled on now. So this, this is kind of like a response to John actually, and just to kind of elaborate more on it. But I think it might be interesting for other people um, because if anyone's been following uh, my stuff to do with the hero weight, you know, they'll know you know, I've I've done like 50 videos now about the Hero 8 through various things, stuff for it, various tests or microphone stuff, you know, exposure stuff and things like that. So, you know, I'd say I'm fairly well up on the Hero 8 at this point. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, whilst this is for John real, realistically, uh, and I will kind of direct it towards John, hopefully it's going to be useful to other people. Anyway, John, <clears throat> so that last comment, that we were discussing, uh, where we were discussing like some stuff and I'd said to you, I've made the decision to drop back now to just the Hero 8 inside my modified media mod. Oh yeah, by the way, I'll, I'll do some cutaways and stuff over this video. They may not be in time with what I'm talking about, but I'll do some cutaways just to kind of show the two setups in question here. So basically what it is, I have now settled on using this exact setup that I'm on right now which is just the Hero 8 inside uh, the Media Mod, but the Media Mod that I've modified. So what I've done here, I've basically replaced the internal microphone system on the Media Mod with um, a microphone capsule that I've put inside the, the body for the so-called shotgun mic on it. So right now, the microphone system is basically an Omni system that I've put in myself, which sounds miles better than what was originally there and for the best part despite the fact that it's an omni and not a cardioid and obviously you know ideally you would want to use a cardioid system for vlogging but for a lot of the surroundings like where i'm at, I'm at now omnis are great and in fact this one doesn't sound that bad when i'm in noisier environments as well which i have tested it in so right now this is the system that i'm going to settle on and that is despite the fact that it is technically not as good a system as my Ulanzi setup. Now, at this point, <laughs> I'm gonna be selling my Ulanzi system, and that's really disappointing, but I'll explain in a minute why. But that Ulanzi system consists of a great case, which is the Ulanzi G85, um, which is like an awesome build. It's mega strong, it's an alloy system, the cold shoes on it are dead strong so you know you can start adding a ton of things to them if you want and then you know the original gopro pro 3.5 millimeter mic adapter is basically is equally as good as what the media mod is where with regard its microphone input but the thing with the combination of that system of the ulanzi and the uh, the original mic adapter is the fact that you can start adding all kinds of filters and things if you want to with that. So things like UVs, NDs, variable NDs, polarizers, in fact, anything that you want to put on the front on a 52 mil thread system. And like I say, with the obvious advantage of having a very strong case or a surround that you can actually put and hang a lot more weight off if that's what you wanted to do. Now, here's the reason why that is not going to be getting used and it is purely down to certain technical limitations of the GoPro Hero 8 Black and very specifically to do with its exposure routine. So what I've found out using the NDs and whatnot with it is the NDs are constantly fighting against the way the Hero 8 wants to do its stabilization. So that awesome stabilization that the Hero 8 has comes at a cost. And that cost is that stabilization works best when the GoPro is left to expose itself. 
and by that what I mean is it's mostly to do with using a higher shutter speed for the exposure and how you find this out um, I may do a video about it but I'll try and briefly explain it now what happens is if you try to expose the GoPro manually so let's say for instance you want to shoot 180 degrees so for me personally you know I shoot in 25 frames a second because I'm in a PAL territory so to, to shoot 180 degrees for that I would want to be shooting with a shutter of 50 so what you would end up doing is dropping down your ISO to the lowest it can be so that you're not trying to like you know gain and stuff through ISO or through I mean basically say ISO is just a digital gain structure so you're not trying to gain through that and then you lock your shutter at 50 for PAL 25 they are, they are your starting blocks then to get the best possible like you know kind of fluid motion should we say and best exposure is just is that are those settings but because that is going to be well blown out in the vast majorities of scenarios you're likely to be in and any other scenario where you would be using a, the 180 degree rule for you know for your motion and stuff because you will be blown out at that point you definitely have to use an ND filter to do that but here's the problem even if the GoPro itself was to choose 50 to do its exposure which it will do without an ND on when you're in getting into lower light it's going to start dropping the shutter in order to get more light back into the lens or back to the sensor in order to expose correctly now what you will see there when it does that is you'll start getting like little micro judders in the frame uh, indeed you may even think or well not even think you may even see that the picture goes slightly softer and that's because of the extra like digital processing that's going on because the GoPro would rather have a higher shutter in a brighter scene to make its stabilization work better and anyone who's got a GoPro Hero 8 Black will definitely see these for themselves so bearing that in mind and that is how the GoPro would prefer to wear the problem is as soon as you put an ND on and it doesn't matter whether it's mega bright or not but as soon as you try to lock it down to 100 on the ISO and 50 on the shutter as soon as you do that you put the ND on to achieve it you're already straight away going against what the Hero 8 would rather it be doing for the EIS that it does so what I found out is yeah the NDs basically don't really work that well <laughs> and it's got nothing to do with the NDs it, it's basically to do with the GoPro so bearing in mind that that Ulanzi system was all designed for me to put NDs on and you know obviously like you know UVs and polarizers are fine but you know one of the problems that I've got with the Hero 8 is exposure so from here on in I can't be using um, any kind of filters to help for exposure because it doesn't help the hero way for the way it wants to do it anyway so I think I've explained there uh, the whole problem with using NDs with the hero weight so it's gone a bit windy and I'm just hoping my little foam surround here is, is going to work okay but like I say that should give us you know a fairly good explanation as to why an ND may not necessarily be a good idea on a Hero 8 Black sorry quick jump cut there what it is I was getting far too much wind I think I don't know if it was the, would have been distorting because I don't have a dead cat on this yeah just getting back to that just to round it off anyway I've seen a number of videos on YouTube with people using ND filters on the Hero 8 and I've seen those problems unfortunately I've not one video that I've seen other people do with NDs, not one of those people have actually mentioned the problem. So I don't know, you know, the, I'm not questioning if people are able to see these things and whatnot, but I definitely can. Um, so yeah, I, I know for a fact that it's not just my one. That's the point that I'm getting at here. It is definitely, you know, a something about the Hero 8. So rather than fight that, I'm just gonna have to learn to live with the exposure as best as like the Hero 8 wants it to be as it were which basically means you know my whole Yolanzi setup is you know it's defunct and I can't really have two systems that basically do the same thing 
um, when I'm only going to really use one of them. So like I say, sell the Ulanzi <laughs> with the original mic adapter, all the filters are bought for it, and a whole bunch of other things as well now that I'm never going to use for the Hero 8. The thing is, I won't look at it as a waste of money or not, because it's been good, because it's allowed me to do videos from the channel with the stuff, and hopefully give other people ideas about things. But also, it's ultimately got me to the end point, as it were, albeit five months down the line. So what I'm going to do now is just talk for a bit about the system as it stands. Okay, funny story, the battery ran out. <laughs> right. That was my fault. I went out with the battery that wasn't full. Nothing to do with the GoPro. Anyway, what I'm going to try and do now is try and cram in now and keep this as short as I can, although it's not going to be short. I'm just going to try and whiz through, you know, the reasons why now this is... Uh, well, I'm actually going to call this the best vlogging system at the moment, and I'll give kind of some reasoning behind that right now. Also, I'm um, on an external mic here. There's me ME64 above me, so this is going to give us an idea of the GoPro in this particular type of setup with the ME64. I know I've done a specific one about that in the past, but give you another idea here. Let's just hope I've exposed it properly because I've tried to go manual now because I've got it locked off. Let's see if that makes any difference. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so bottom line here, um, after running through a whole bunch of things and blah, blah, and all the rest of it, I've got to say right now that this variation that I've got of the GoPro Hero 8, and in spite of the fact that there is a ton of things I absolutely hate about it, I've got to now look at the practicalities for having a vlogging setup, which is going to be able to go in my pockets that I can pull out at a moment's notice, because that stuff that I did yesterday when I was outdoors, the GoPro inside the medium mod was literally in one pocket, my pistol grip was in another pocket, took me about 15 seconds to screw it together and just switch it on and start going. Can't argue with that. Um, now, the thing is, all these things that have been going on about mostly to do with exposure, which has been my biggest gripe. A lot of the other things that I say are failings about the Hero 8. I could possibly live with them to a degree, do you know what I mean, or work around. The exposure thing definitely is not something that you can work around because as soon as it blows out, it's gone. That's it. You, you, the data, the information within the actual recording is, is gone. You can't retrieve nothing and it's burnt out. That stuff is terrible. But here's the thing. Bearing in mind that this whole approach here that I've been talking about has been to do with like, you know, a small system, ultra portable for a very specific thing, which is like the selfie vlog stuff. Everything is going to have problems doing stuff like that. And once again, because you will have to go automatic to a degree. So whether you've got a DSLR or a mirrorless or a camcorder or anything, a phone doesn't matter. You will have issues with exposure and color balance and stuff like that. You always will do because once again, to make the point really clear, you have to go into some form of automatic procedure because as you're walking around, going in and out of different lighting conditions, shadows, indoors, outdoors, you can't be stopping to reset exposures, it's impossible. That then stops it from becoming, you know, a proper, like, you know, on the flight vlogging system. And on that point as well, I would imagine anybody who's ever done ENG work or news gathering and stuff like that, they would probably agree with that. You know, you, you, you've got to let go of the sensibilities of exposure sometimes, as in, you know, we all know how to expose. And when you're behind the camera and you're locked off or you're maybe handheld in one position, you can get into all that to minuscule detail and stuff. But as soon as you move the camera again, you've got to redo that. And that's just how these things happen. But for this whole vloggy thing, especially more so the, the selfie vlog, you can't really do that because as soon as you lock stuff off, then you're subject to things not moving with exposure once once you start walking and things like that. So bearing all that in mind and bearing in mind that the whole thing here is to have something that's small and convenient. Yeah, you know, and, you know, in spite of all the problems that I can't stand about the Hero 8, I have to say it is the best thing at the moment for this type of stuff. And it pains me to say it, it really does because well for one i'm not a huge fan of what gopro have done with the eight i'm not a i'm not i'm definitely not a, a, a huge fan of the way gopro seem to have started letting down their customers more and more as time's gone on in recent years i think gopro used to be a fantastic company 
I now just think, you know, well, I'm not going to go into what I think, but I just don't think they're as good as what they used to be as far as, like, you know, dealing with the customers and, and listening to customer requests and stuff like that. But the, at the end of the day, despite the failings and stuff, you know, I'm going to be selling my Osmo Pocket setup and I'm going to be selling my Action setup and I'm going to be selling... Uh, all that Yolanzi stuff like I've said and not because any of those things are bad it's just because I have to pick something which is going to do the thing that I want or is closest to doing the thing that I want out of all of that stuff I've just mentioned the Osmo Pocket is definitely the better camera and if you were going out and like pointing the camera in front of you and wanting to film things in front of you all day long I would use that but for these vloggy things where you want to record yourself the pocket isn't ideally suited to that on a number of levels. Also as well, for that type of vloggy thing that I am into, um, and make it clear, I'm still not a proper vlogger here. Although I think the Hero 8 is, is getting me there, so there's another plus point about the 8. But with the vloggy thing, I don't like, um, I don't like depth of field in vlogs. So for me personally, I would rather have a fixed aperture, a fixed lens, and infinite um infinite focus on the system that's a personal taste thing by the way that i'm not saying that that is right for everyone that's just the way i see it because if i want to turn the camera around really quick and grab something and then turn it back to myself i need infinite focus for that and also the um, the pocket is amazing so not the pocket the gopro is amazing at close uh, focus as well it's closest focus distance is the best out of all the small cameras maybe the pocket can match it for that but the problem i have with the pocket is as much as it's a it's a far superior picture quality the problem is you know it does have focus issues and it isn't it isn't highly suited to this kind of point it at yourself thing unless you put a wide angle adapter on as soon as you put one of them on i've got a free well for mine and as soon as you put that on the picture definitely softens and drops off a bit there's other issues involved in that at least with the gopro you know you pick it up you know you don't have to put anything on it it'll just capture a nice wide linear you know field of view and stuff for you doesn't do all that barreling if you don't want it to there's a little bit there but for all intents and purposes it's got an amazing system for that um again things that i've already mentioned in another video where i went on about the, the good and the bad but i'm just trying to cram the best bits in now to justify my decision for it um yeah so all those things that i'm mentioning there you know the auto thing the pulling out your pocket thing go for stuff that quick have an infinite you know infinite focus and I, and also having close focus for the selfie vlog stuff i can't complain with, about it really the the and the, the major complaints i've got about it with exposure white balance color and stuff like that can happen on other things you have to be realistic about that I just think, you know, like most of the people who bought the Hero 8, you know, I think we all wanted this perfection thing. And a couple of things that I'm not bothered about, flip out selfie screen, doesn't bother me at all. I know a lot of people get bent out of shape about that, but for me personally, I, I see people who do that stuff and quite often, you know, the eye line is looking up or it's looking to the side. You know, I'm sorry, but I, that, that's not for me, you know, for a number of reasons. I know where the lens is and I know roughly where I am in the frame. It's a wide angle lens, you know, you can't be that far out of it. And it, you know, the GoPro is great for that. I just don't think it's it, it's bad on any level for that type of stuff. And indeed as well, I think a lot of the things that I'm going on about here will probably extend to people who do action stuff as well. So I've got no doubt that people who do action stuff are like people who, you know, they're going to have problems with the Hero 8. I definitely would would guess that's the, the the case. But I think on balance, people who do action stuff, I think most of those people are going to be coming to the same conclusion as me. Live with some of the stuff that is wrong about it and just use it and just get the best you can out of it because the alternatives to it are either far too bulky um, or they're just not as good for certain things to do with like the focus, the field of view, the linearity or the geometry of the frame and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, I've definitely just got to reel myself in with the stuff that I'm not really into on it and just go, no, sod it, learn to live with it and just get on with it. It won't stop me from bitching about it, do you know what I mean? Because, yeah, you know, if something's annoying you, it's annoying you. But at the same time, you 
cannot possibly argue against the things that the Hero 8 does so well. And not least of all, the stabilization. I've already mentioned a ton about that. Nothing is touching it for that. So stabilization and close focus, you know, they're two of the probably biggest tick boxes you have to tick off for doing the selfie vlog thing. Do the stuff, yeah, you know, bitch about it all day long, blah, blah, but, you know, hopefully there's ways of getting around that. You definitely can't get around the stabilization because to do it in post, you're going to lose even more of the frame regardless of how good the EIS is. You might even introduce other things because most of those stabilizer things are also trying to counteract, um, you know, the scanning of the, what's the name of the sensor as well. So you may even involve jello added to stuff like that in extreme cases. And as far as focus is concerned, you definitely can't do nothing about that in post. You know what I mean? If it's soft and it's out of focus, that's the, you know, that's there. So again, those two things for vloggy stuff and what and I'm on 10 minutes here what am I doing <laughs> right so bottom line I think I've maybe point clear here it is going to be for me the best thing right now for doing all this and I'm going to sell off the the action system the pocket system pocket is not something I want to sell but I'm going to sell that I'm going to sell the Alanzi stuff and the main reason for that is because I want to get myself a little pot of money to one side that I, that I don't touch and I can dig into straight away as soon as something else comes out I definitely deliberately didn't go for that into the system because i just seen there was far too many problems with that without even having to use it. But I'm going to be very hopeful that DJI come up with some things now to either supersede or the Mark II versions of the likes of the Action and the Pocket. And I need to be in a position where I can pounce on these things as soon as they come out. I'll definitely go for DJI stuff and I'll definitely go for GoPro stuff. I have problems with both of the companies and with the way they do certain things. I have problems. Actually, I don't really have any problems with the Pocket. I have problems with the Action. I have problems with the Hero 8. But it's not going to stop me from still looking at stuff by DJI and GoPro. I just think on balance, both of those companies get a lot of things right. Probably more so GoPro, if the truth be known. And that's despite the fact that the action is a more reliable camera than the 8. But the action can't do close focus properly. You know, it's stabilization. It's a different taste of stabilization. I prefer the Hero 8 stabilization. That's a personal thing. Yeah, so there we go. I think I've rounded this up. Oh, God, 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right definitely going to shoot off now i'm just hoping anyway that you know what i've done here is something that people you know uh, kind of understand I, I, I dare say a lot of people might disagree with what i've been saying but i would like to think that the, you know although i'm not a proper vlogger yet uh, <laughs> i'm trying to get there but i'm i'm hoping that people who who, who do vlogging properly all the time c can probably side with me on a whole bunch of the things that i've mentioned here uh, with my decision to stick with this particular setup now for the eight and whatnot just mostly down to pragmatic reasoning and things like that anyways yeah and then um, just before i finish this also john i, I had a look uh, at some of your videos and that recent one was that actually you um on the ps4 uh, what were you on what one of the racing games because mate how, how much did that suck when you spun out in that sand if it wasn't for that you 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 definitely would have trashed the race there and won it <laughs> anyway on that as well john i'm going to be doing some game stuff on a different channel so i'll let you know in one of the comments where i'm up to with that kind of stuff and as ever as well if anyone's into this gopro hero 8 stuff and all the rest of it go to www.gopro9.com and that'll take you to me playlist for all my hero 8 stuff there will now be probably over 50 videos in that list as well and so yeah there's a ton of stuff that people can dig into you know if you want to hear some idiot's opinion of things yeah definitely go to see that list and also as well if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up and all that stuff subscribe to the channel all the usual boring nonsense that i ask for at the end of the videos anyway i'm flagging here i need another coffee look at this i can do this with me oh, i was gonna say not no fallout it did there was a tiny bit left in the bottom right i'm getting off for another coffee i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now